Curators of a new art exhibit are hoping to bring more education and attention to an old boarding school in Rapid City. Our Madison Newman was able to learn more about the Rapid City Indian Boarding School and the important history of the children who attended. It's a way to honor their lives and their memories. It began as a research project searching for graves of children who had passed away while at the boarding school. Um, a bunch of volunteer researchers, a bunch of uh, newbie researchers, you know, dove into this project trying to figure out where those graves might be and did discover that there are some unmarked graves on the hillside behind West Middle School. Um, in our research, we found that over 50 children died while attending the Rapid City Indian Boarding School in its time of operation. And the intention of the project is to protect, honor, and remember those children and this story. So, Children were taken from their tribes, including the Great Sioux Nation, Northern Cheyenne, and Flathead. All of us carry this story in our blood. And so it's important that the community understands that and knows that what happened here has affected all of us even to this day. The story of this school and what happened to the children there in that land has affected every single one of us that lives in Rapid City today. Sazu says this impacts a percentage of the Rapid City Native American community, saying many are descendants of the children who survived. My grandmother, great grandmother was one of the first uh, um, students at Carlisle, and her name was Sophie American Horse. And so, and then, uh, you know, generations after her were all subject to, the, you know, the abuses and neglect and all, all, all the. Uh, cultural genocide that the boarding schools really represented. So um, for me to, I'm a product of that genocide. So for me to really be able to address that and help the people to heal, and especially this community of Rapid City, um, for us to heal so we can become more part of the community. And, um, and um, I'm just honored to be a part of it. So. The exhibit is located downtown Rapid City at 631 Main Street. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Madison Newman.